Hello everyone, my name is Ovais Amin and I am CEO of Scale Valley, an Amazon marketing agency. Uh, today we are going to talk about what to do when your product sales drop suddenly. Now in majority of the videos or in majority of the blog posts, you would see this topic to be discussed under the heading of re-ranking when, you, when your inventory gets back after getting out of stock. But here today, my topic is going to be a bit different. Here, I am going to share a checklist with you uh, what to do, what to check step by step when your product sales drop suddenly. Uh, and in this case, I am assuming you are not going out of stock or there is no verification process from Amazon Seller Central side. Everything is going smooth and just one day or maybe in a time period of two to four days, you check here that your sales are being dropped suddenly. What to do here? Uh, here I am going to share the checklist with you. You can put it as an SOP, uh, whether you are managing a listing of your client or you are a seller yourself and you are managing your own product. You can use this checklist to see, uh, to eradicate the issue, to identify and then eradicate the issue whenever you see a sudden drop in your sales. Okay, so the first thing is you need to check your product category. Um, sometimes Amazon change your product category by itself without, without uh, asking you. Amazon detects the data based upon the purchases, based upon the customer's uh, behavior and then uh, may shift your category from the one you have selected to the other which Amazon finds suitable. For that, you can uh, go to your listing and then uh, in this product information box, you can see here if your category is same as before or it, or it isn't changed. Because if the category is changed, then definitely in the new category, it would have its own dynamics, its own uh, mass sale depth. So you need to open case with Amazon uh, to revert your category changes or if you observe that Amazon has changed category of all of your competitors who are selling same design as yours, then this is how you need to live with it and you need to put some ranking efforts to stabilize in this category. Uh, checklist point number two, you need to check your keyword indexing. Uh, it is a glitch from Amazon side if whenever it happens, but you need to see if your key product is in indexed against the relevant keywords or not. So for that, what you need to do is you need to uh, type the main keyword garlic press let's say for the sake of example plus your sn when you put that here i have taken the sn of the famous oxo garlic press which you would see in many of the examples i take during the uh, video recordings so when i have put this keyword plus the sn it is showing right here this is the same as in which I have copied. So it kind of confirms you that your product is indexed against those relevant keywords. If this is not relevant and if it comes out to be one of the reason, then all you need to do is to give a little bit more push on PPC and in three, four days, uh, the indexing gets back. It is usually a glitch from Amazon side, but by simply putting up the PPC uh, budget and bids, in 3-4 days, you can see it getting back to the normal. Point number 3, like we had checked the uh, category of our product as the first step of this checklist. Uh, in this third step, sometimes it happens that at the front end page, your product category is same. But at the back end in Amazon database, Amazon, uh, by glitch or by mistake or whatsoever is the reason, I'm not sure about that. But the product type or the category at the back end uh, for your product gets changed. How you can check that? Uh, you need to go to the inventory reports and get the category listing report. Uh, for the category listing report, it is by default not available. So what you need to do is you need to simply open case with Amazon. Um, a one-liner case, I need category listing report for S in ABC. This is what you need to do. Before it used to take 24 hours to Amazon to get this report, but nowadays it hardly takes 10 to 15 minutes because Amazon starts showing this report under the inventory and inventory report section. From there, you can download that and you need to see the product type column. If in the product type column, uh, this is not relevant, then here the problem is basically. 
by glitch or by whatsoever mean uh, the product category or the product type at the back end of Amazon is changed. So what you need to do is you need to take the screenshot of this and when you need to show Amazon this is the category listing report and here in the product type it is showing this type uh, this product type data and this is not relevant to my product and you need to change it. For this it may take some time 3, 4, 5 maybe up to 10, 11 cases but if you stick to the same case ID don't go for opening new and new cases uh, one after the other but stick to the same case ID and keep on asking or keep on uh, debating with the Amazon uh, customer support team to change the product type. It helps to uh, get the changes quicker as compared to if you always uh, focus on opening a new case. So in this case when Amazon change your product type at the back end to the relevant one, uh, you will see a quick fixing of the sale drop issue and you will see a quick boost or your sales will be revert back to what it used to be. Uh, point number four, you need to see if on your listing any of your top competitor or any competitor or who has better reviews, better rating, better price or better offer than yours. Has he bombarded your listing uh, with the SM targeting in the sponsor display, in sponsor product and in the video targeting on your particular SM? If you see uh, this change, then it can have a good impact on your sale drop. Uh, it's definitely not something which people give importance to but I have seen this a couple of times that this thing, this particular thing uh, can boost your sales a lot if you are targeting your competitors uh, properly and uh, can cause a drop in your sales as well if you are ignoring the SM defensive campaigns and your competitors are taking leverage of the traffic you are bringing to your listing. So what you need to do is you need to build the ads in defensive campaigns where you need to target your own particular asset in the sponsor product and then in the sponsor display and try to cover up maximum as you can to make sure you need to bid higher because you are going to get a great conversion um, definitely you need to make the bid higher so no one else can think of taking leverage of the traffic you are bringing to your asset. Point number five is low inventory. Uh, many of the new uh, beginner sellers do not identify but it is kind of common in the seasoned sellers uh, that having low inventory does have an impact on your sales and on your ranks. Definitely uh, much more on your sales as compared to the ranks. Uh, this is what I have observed in dozens of my clients listings that let's say if you are ranked to the second or third spot on the main keyword and you have less inventory maybe less than 1000 then from the same ranking you are getting maybe 30 40 orders per day and when you have decent inventory on those same ranks let's say inventory more than 5000 or 6000 uh, then Amazon is going to award you much more sales on those same ranks of those same search volume keywords uh, as compared to before. This is all geo ranking. Uh, we have heard that, we have read about that multiple times that Amazon keeps on showing uh, different products uh, on different time zones or in different time period of the day and in different zip location based on the availability of the product in the nearby Amazon warehouse. So definitely it depends to provide timely delivery to the customer and this is why Amazon prefers those products to show in let's say a particular zip code which are available in that zip codes where, uh, warehouse. So high inventory number or a decent inventory number once you see that your product design is good, your product offer is great and you are getting ranked on the top keywords and you are getting profitable sale you need to make sure you don't compromise on the inventory levels because it's kind of lacking you behind uh, with the low number of sales and you can observe or test this as well by keeping the low inventory and keeping the high inventory and you can gauge the difference here so many a times we don't uh, recognize or we don't identify what's the reason and the reason majorly is the low inventory level. Once the inventory gets replenished and the inventory status from reserve gets to variable uh, like in the 7, 10 maybe days and then you will see a great boost in your sales again. 
so if this is the reason you need to identify and you need to rectify that as well point number 6 it is related more uh, to the keyword ranking part you need to see in the keyword tracker if your ranks on all the relevant keywords are maintained on top spots or not now here we can uh, categorize the reason behind drop in keyword ranks into three uh, the first one can be your reason can be in your listing uh the second reason can be in your uh market maybe the competitors uh the third reason can be in your ppc whenever you see a uniform decrease in keyword ranks on all the relevant keywords then the reason uh, will most probably be into uh, the market maybe any of the competitor with better offer with better price uh with better uh ranking or rating or reviews has started putting aggressive budget on the keyword and he is getting a good chunk of the market or a couple of those competitors are getting a good chunk of the market and that's why you are being pushed down to uh, whatever sports uh, then you used to be ranked before this can be the first reason the second reason can be your changes in your listing maybe you have changed the product image maybe you have changed the product price maybe your rating has dropped uh any issue in your listing or any effort by your competitors is going to uh, put the decrease in keyword rank uniformly all over the relevant keywords and if there is an issue from the ppc side then you are going to observe the drop in keyword ranks on those particular keywords which were being targeted in that particular keyword campaign ppc campaign or maybe uh that portfolio until unless you have jeopardized all of your ppc efforts then that's that would be a separate case so a drop in keyword rank uh let's decide the or let's discuss the first reason uh the first reason is uh this is what i have i had observed in a couple of clients listings uh where they were selling a high quality stainless steel maybe 302 or whatever it was the number uh, at a good uh selling price of or ranging between $14 to $20 everyone was doing that now after one year or maybe one and a half year a new uh type of sellers they jumped into the market in which they were offering a low quality stainless steel uh whatever is the number of that maybe 203 or something like that but that steel was cheaper but that was definitely serving the purpose of the buyer so those sellers started selling the product in in between $6 to $9.9 uh offering same pack value as the first layer of sellers were offering now this thing kind of killed the market and those new 5 6 7 sellers they came to the market in the time period of 3 to 4 months and uh, they literally snatched each and every major sale point from the first layer sellers and they had to change their design uh for the sake of survival uh the second thing is maybe one of your competitor has uh improved the design a lot or maybe a big brand has jumped into the market like oxo m design utopia such kind of giant brands maybe they have jumped into the market and they are aggressive in snatching the top spots and you are observing an overall decrease in your keyword ranks the second reason behind drop in keyword ranks that can be you have tried to change the price you have tried to increase the price and maybe it's not working and it's dropping your conversion rate which in return is dropping your keyword rank so you need to revert that or maybe you are beta testing an image a main image um, or the a plus content and that didn't work well that is causing the drop in your conversion which is in return causing the drop in your keyword ranks third is the poor rating you are getting poor rating consistently from last one month which kind of uh, change your rating from 4.3 to 4.2 now when the rating changes from 4.3 to 4.2 you would see a picture from a uh, four and a half star field to four star field and that does have a good impact uh, on the customers if they are if your niche or if your target audience is quality conscious then you need to put effort to improve your rating to get back the sales rank now let's uh, get to the third reason behind drop in keyword ranks which is eventually dropping your sales uh, the third reason can be you know, this is the best practice to check the ppc changes here is to see the history tab in your advertising console 
In the history tab, you will see each and every change or each and every major incident which happened in your advertising console. So whatever is the change of sales talk, you need to set the date range of 10 days behind that event of change of uh, sales drop onwards. Uh, then what will happen is you will see each and every bid changes and budget changes. Uh, some of the key triggers here is if you see a uh, budget limitation to a very good performing keyword or if you see a massive change in bid like from $2 to directly $1 or from $2 to maybe $1.25 any change which is more than 4 to 5% of the uh, bid uh, let's say your bid was $2 and instead of decreasing it to, to 1.8 at maximum you put it directly to 0.80 pennies or maybe $1 that's going to throttle your impression on that particular keyword and PPC on that particular keyword won't perform same as it used to do before. So what will happen is your rank on that particular keyword will drop. You need to identify that from the history tab and then you need to fix that. Another reason due to which you can see drop in your sales is if you are depending a lot on only a couple of keywords, maybe one, two, three keywords which are driving major chunk of your sales, then you need to check if the search volume of that particular keyword is same or is it dropped. Uh, many times the search volume of keywords keep on fluctuating, it keep on dropping and keep on getting high. So sometimes you don't realize that uh, the major source of your sale were organic ranks on a couple of keywords but now the search volume of those keywords is dropped drastically and this is the main reason you are not getting same or number of orders as you used to get before. So then you need to reevaluate the market. Maybe you need to check the graph of those competitors if they are going to get detraction sooner. Uh, then that should be fine. If it's not, then you need to redirect your ranking efforts towards other couple of keywords to achieve same number of sales. So the last uh, checklist here is maybe one of the most important one. Once you have checked all the points step by step in the same order in which I have shared with you and you find none of the above reasons to be the reason of your uh, sale drop, then this is the last option which is uh, suggested by Amazon like we were facing such issues of sudden sale drop and we did all the uh, go through all the checklists one by one and none of the above mentioned reasons were the reason behind our sale drop then we opened case and this is what Amazon shared with us um, in this case our sponsored ranks were maintained on whatever sports there was like maybe in the top four sports if you see it through the desktop or maybe in the middle of the first page or maybe at the bottom of the first page but we were unable to see the organic ranks we were unable to see our product organically uh, anywhere on any keyword right away so like when the competitor hits or when maybe this change in your listing you would see a drop in your ranks maybe till the end bottom of first page or maybe till second to third page but you will surely find your product but in this case we were unable to find the organic ranks of our product uh, by checking it, uh, typing the keyword and checking it manually. If this is the case with you, then what you need to do is you need to again download the category listing report and you need to save the important uh, details of your listing like the product title, like SIN, uh, GTIN uh, barcode and then the SKU. Uh, you can simply download the category listing report. It will have all the details relevant to your listing. Then you need to delete the listing and you need to make sure that uh, you stay there like the listing is deleted for 48 hours like it will take you 48 hours before you relist the product again. So because Amazon requires uh, 24 hours time uh, US time period uh, to make sure or to uh, register this event that you have deleted your listing and uh, as our time zones may be different than the US time zone so it is highly recommended that you wait for 48 hours after 48 hours you need to upload the listing through flat file and in the update option instead of partial update select the update uh, like there are two options partial update or update select the update one and upload the flat file uh, you will see your listing will get back maybe in 
10 to 30, 40 minutes. And after that, if you push the listing with PPC for two, three days, you will see your organic ranks back to the spots where they were before this glitch by Amazon. So we have done this on maybe 20, 30 of our listings. Uh, whenever we go through all the checklist step by step, and uh, we don't find any other reason than this one. Then we uh, delete the listing, wait for 48 hours, and re-upload the listing through flat file. And uh, almost in 90 to 90 to 95 percent cases, uh, the issue gets fixed, and our ranks get back uh, to the normal spots, and sales also uh, get back to the normal spots as well. Uh, again, this was the checklist. When you see a sudden drop in your sales. This was not the checklist for uh, getting the re-ranking effort after you get in stock from uh, after being out of stock you get back into the stock. This is not for that scenario. So hope it helps. Uh, do like the video, subscribe the channel. If you fail to understand anything, do ask in the comment section below. Uh, see you soon. Thank you.